Number 37, letter A. What is the angular momentum of the moon in its orbit around the Earth? All right, so here we have a little picture. The Earth is going to be in the middle. The moon is out here. And we have certain quantities for the uh, moon. This is the mass of the moon. And it's going to be the radius of the moon. Okay. And in red, that's the radius of the orbit right, of the moon around the Earth. So that's what we need to find. We need to find the angular momentum of the moon around the Earth. Therefore, we need a formula for angular momentum. Angular momentum is denoted by the symbol L, bottom right. And I'm going to write that over here. Angular momentum is then equal to the moment of inertia of the system multiplied by the angular velocity. So if we think about, I mean, this problem is basically the same as the problem uh, prior. The moon here, uh, we are considering the moon's mass to kind of be like a point mass that is going to be revolving around a center axis. Okay, uh, That picture can best be approximated by... Uh, this picture in your textbook, it's the hoop about the cylinder axis, right? And here is the moment of inertia for that particular system. So therefore, this is just going to be the mass of the moon multiplied by the radius of the orbit of the moon squared, multiplied then by the angular velocity, okay? So now I can figure out, or now, or now I can start plugging in some values, right? So the mass of the moon, 7.35 times 10 to the 22nd. The uh, radius of the orbit is going to be about 3.84 times 10 to the 8. That's squared. And now the angular velocity. So this part, not as clear, but it's fairly straightforward. Um, I'll tell you that the, uh, that the moon, in its rotation around the Earth, makes one revolution every 27 days, about. And therefore, I need this in radians per second, right? So we got to cancel revolutions. They go on the bottom, radians on the top, two pi radians for every one revolution. Say bye-bye to revolutions. And then we have to get rid of days, right? So we would go, I'm going to run out of a little space, I see. Uh, let's say days to hours. In one day, there's 24 hours. And then I can go from hour to seconds, right? There's going to be 3,600 seconds in one hour. And we will have our value, Okay, so uh, this works out to then be basically 2 pi divided by 27 times 24 times 3600. Okay, and that's the value I'm going to be plugging in for my omega. Okay, so that's going to be 2 pi all over 20, oops, 27 times 24 times 3600. And now all I need to do is calculate. All right, so let's throw it on into the calculator. So 7.35 times 10 to the 22nd times 3.84 times 10 to the 8th, and that's squared, multiplied by 2 pi, all divided then by 24 times 27 times 3,600. And what do we get? So we get about 2.92. 2.92 times 10 to the 34th. All right, and the units here will be kilogram meter squared per second. All right, that's, those are the units for angular momentum. All right, so let's take a look at letter B. And all right, so how does this angular momentum compare with the angular momentum of the moon on its own axis? Okay, and it says, remember that the moon keeps one side toward the Earth at all times. So basically what that means is, um, I don't know if I had to show it kind of in a, in a picture here, so here is the moon, right? Let's just pretend this little, you know, this part of the moon is um, the face that is facing the, the Earth, okay? When it rotates then to the other side, it would then look just like this. Here's the moon on the other side, and the face is still facing the Earth, right? So actually, to make one then revolution around the moon's own axis, it takes the same amount of time as it does for the moon to make one full revolution around the Earth. That's the whole reason why they're telling that to you. So that being the case, I know then the periods are the same, right? It's going to be the same period here, no difference, because for, to, for the moon to make one revolution around its own axis, it takes the same amount of time as it did for the moon to make its orbit around the Earth. Okay, so that part is the same. And now for then... The other piece, angular momentum is equal to I omega. So the um, 
moment of inertia now has changed because we're talking about the moon about its own orbit, excuse me, about its own axis. So therefore the moon about its own axis could be approximated with this picture on the upper right, solid sphere about any of its diameters rotating. And here is then the moment of inertia for that. Okay, so it's going to be two multiplied by the mass of the moon, multiplied by the radius of the moon now squared, all divided by five, all divided then by our omega that we already discussed. So this is going to simply be two times the mass of the moon, which is 7.35 times 10 to the 22nd. That's then going to be multiplied by the radius. So 1.74 times 10 to the sixth. That whole thing is squared, all divided by five. Multiply that thing by now omega, which is the same as we had up here. Okay, so that's going to be two pi all over 27 times 24 times 3600. And take out the handy dandy calculator. Let's see what we get. So here we're gonna have two times 7.35 times 10 to the 22nd times 1.74 times 10 to the sixth. That's squared, all divided by five, then multiply by two pi and divided by now 27 times 24 times 3600. And what do we get? About 2.40, 2.40 times 10 to the 29 now. 29, and that's kilogram meter squared per second. All right. And then I think it was asking us just to compare the two, right? So all you have to do is do a division, right? You're going to take, going to take this value, divide it by this value to get your ratio. And let me just do that quickly. So 2.94. Uh, times 10 to the 34th divided by our answer we just received. And it looks like um, the angular momentum of the moon around its orbit is going to be 1.22 times 10 to the, looks like five, all right? 1.22, so about 122,000 times uh, larger than it is about its own axis. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Gotta run, please remember to subscribe. Uh, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next question. Take care.